Oh yeah! Hey guys, it's Marche here. You're watching Exploring Music. I got a really important message coming up right after this one. So get ready. Check it out! Okay, yeah, so now I am going to preach. No. <laughs> I, I want... Okay, there's, there's something that's been really bugging me. And it's really important with music, and I thought I'd really cover I've got some other videos planned for exploring music. I've got heaps of videos planned, actually. But this one just sort of came up recently, and is like, you had to jump the queue. Because this is an important, really important subject. Um, and it's something that I thought was really, really important. Now, especially when we live in the day of The Voice and X Factor and you know all these talent shows and um, I, I don't watch them but um, yeah so it, there's things that you see in the audition process and all that sort of stuff but it's not just the, these shows it's um, you know it, it's rejection it overall now you know I, I've seen judges on these talent shows and they, they're like, oh, you're useless, you know, you should just stop what you're doing, you'll never have a career, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes these people are just inexperienced. You know, there's nothing wrong with their talent and there's nothing about their talent that wouldn't sell, but they get told, you never make it anywhere, so give up. And there's also a bunch of scammers out there. I'm not so, you know, um, you got people that are offering record deals and all these other deals and it's like you know they're scams and then you have other people that just think their crap don't stink and they'll tell people you suck you are no good you never will be just give up now tiny percentage a very tiny percentage it would be okay don't try this as a career now out of, I've done I've um, I've performed all over the place I've actually used to run a karaoke business I worked in karaoke business I saw hundreds of thousands of people who sing they're not talking just singers I'm talking just ordinary people who can sing and I, so I've heard so many people sing and do you know how many of those people I would say cannot sing at all? Two. Out of all of those thousands and thousands of people that I have heard sing, there is two people in my entire life that I've heard that I would say cannot sing. I'm not talking about on TV shows. I'm talking about personally in the room you know, listening to their voice live. Only two people, I would say, could not sing. These people had no personality. They had no voice. Like, the, the, there was just, the, they had no ear for music at all. They had no timing. They had absolutely nothing. And it, it, good on them for giving it a go. This was during karaoke, you know, but um, you know, doing karaoke, so they were singing to a backing track, um, which I will get to, I'll talk about, but it was just these people, even though they were giving it a go, which was awesome, they, there was just nothing there, uh, like, um, I, that I could personally see, as, you know, n you know, and one of these people I actually really tried to help, I tried to help, because, Especially with things like karaoke, when you're singing along to the original key and all that. Most of the time, when you hear somebody singing a song badly, it's either they don't know the song, it's in the wrong key, which plays a huge part, really. And a lot of it is just inexperience and not knowing how to do it properly. So, it's like, yeah, you can, mo almost everybody can sing if they have the right song 
and they do a little bit of practice and that they can pull off a song awesome it's just they pick the wrong song in the wrong key and half the time they don't quite know it all but even when they do know it if it's in the wrong if it's the wrong song for their voice and it's in the wrong key they got no hope of singing it and they sound horrible and we all do you get any singer and give them a key that they can't sing in and a song that really doesn't suit their voice they're not going to pull it off they, can, they might do an okay job if they're a brilliant singer but they're not going to nail it and this is really important so this is where I really want to buckle down and talk about the heart of the topic today but before we do Let's go to, no, <laughs> but before we do, I do want to say, if you like this video, hit like, it helps with the algorithm, hit subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, and of course, my major sponsor, Conceptual Creative, check them out today, they help me so much, you can go check out my website, markshaymusic.com.au, and see the sort of work that they do for me, their, their link is in the description, and it's conceptualcreative.com.au and make sure you check them out because they do web hosting and a whole bunch of other things but anyway so the end of the day the topic at hand is just because you have a bad performance or you get rejected does not mean it's the end of your career if something doesn't go your way and it's like, oh, I'm never gonna make it. Well, you're never gonna make it. It's all about attitude, really. It really is. Um, everybody who is successful never just went in and went, boom, hey, I got it, first try. There's plenty of rejection behind every major artist and even minor artists. And, uh, and the amount of rejection that I've been through is just insane. And I could tell you some stories and even, you know, people trying to sabotage your career. You can still push through. It's not the end of your career if you don't want it to be. Now, what you gotta remember, which is a very important thing, is fame is something that is very... It, people got fame, people get the idea of fame wrong. A lot of them think, well, if you're not Keith Urban and you're not Miley Cyrus and you're not Taylor Swift and you're not this and you're not that, then you're nothing. That's rubbish. The, um, the scale of fame is many, many tiers, right? Not tiers as in crying, but tiers as in levels. Now, okay, you have your mega superstars like Taylor Swift and all them. Um, but then you have the ones that are under them. They're not as big as them. And you have the ones under them and the ones under them. You know, and okay, do you take the internationally acclaimed artists out? Let's just take Australian country music, for example, right? You have your Lee Kernigan and your Adam Brand and your Gina Jeffries and your Adam Harvey's. And they're like at the pinnacle of the country music scene here in Australia. And under them, you have your Travis Collins and you know, your Troy Kemp's and all that. And as you keep going down, there's other levels. And then you have people that just play at a pub. And it's like, oh, so what? That's a pub. They're just playing at a pub. Yeah, but if people are going to see them, People like what they do, people are a fan of them, and they're going to listen to them play at the pub. So there is an element of fame because these people aren't in this performer's life. You know, and that's what you gotta remember. There is several, several tiers of fame. But what is success for you? Is it playing across the country and having, you know, filling up a pub and, in, and getting people to enjoy it and people come out and they know your name. You don't know them, but they know your name and they have a ball and you have a ball and everyone's just rocking out and having fun. 
and then you got the big concerts and the big festivals, you know, and people playing those things, and you know, you got a bigger fan base, and you know, all that. And then you've got, you know, the the you know, the big recording artists. And then you've got the even international artists, you know, the ones selling out over in America and traveling Europe. You know, I got some friends and they come back here, they pretty much live in the summer. They, they're, they're doing an amazing job. And they work hard, they travel so much and they play so much. And, you know, they've got the train wreck trio and also now you've got Anna and the truck stops and they are busting their butts and then every summer they're back in Australia and they're performing and they're doing the Tamworth Country Music Festival and all that sort of stuff. And then they're flying over during you know, Australia's winter and they're performing in Europe and they're kicking butt. But how many of you on YouTube have heard of the Trinwick Trio? And unless, you, you know, unless you've been seeing videos from Country Loud that we've been doing and all that sort of stuff. You know, I'd like to know how many of you, write in the comments, how many of you guys have heard of Trainwreck Trio. They are an amazing act. And they travel all across Australia, they travel all across Europe, and they're rocking it out every night. And they're doing an amazing job. And a lot of people haven't even heard of them. And they are quite successful. Yeah, okay, they might not be rocking, rubbing shoulders with Keith Urban and Taylor Swift, but they are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is how you grow, you know, and so there's so many elements of fame. And that's one thing that's really important to remember, because what's successful to you? Is it, do you have to be a Taylor Swift or do you, will you like playing all over the place and people coming and seeing you because they dig what you do. You know, okay, I talk about the Australian country industry a bit here because I'm involved in that industry. I'm not into the blues industry here. I know people in the blues industry here. I, I know people in the metal industry here and all that, but I'm not actively performing in it and, and all that sort of stuff. So that's why I, my default will be the Australian country music industry, but I am, quite aware of the other industries within the music so but this is where I'm getting at is if you can perform and entertain people and you have a love to do it and and that yeah you can make money out of it you can have a career out of it and the majority of the country won't even know who you are and this is what's important that you've got to remember an element of fame now the way I see it is if there's somebody that digs what I do, I'm happy. You know, like I don't need a billion people on the planet to be screaming my name. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, that would be really cool. But I can go and perform, and there will be people that travel distance to see me play because I'm closer to them than where I. I am now, um, but they will travel to, to watch me play because they enjoy what I do, they want to support what I do, and they just, they're, they're true fans, and I will take those fans any day over somebody on the other side of the world who's watched one music video and go, oh, okay. You know, it's like, it's how you view your career. And you look around, seriously look around, get out of the genre that you normally listen to. You go and listen to every genre from polka to classical, to rock, to death metal, um, to rap, to blues, to country, um, you know, to industrial, psychedelic hippie music you know there is something for everybody and I guarantee you you will find performers who are killing it and having fun and enjoying what they do and guess what you don't like what they do 
It's not your thing. But it's their thing. And there's people that dig their thing. And they are making a success out of it. And they may not be Taylor Swift or Keith Urban, yeah, or Michael Jackson or anybody you can think of that has a world-renowned name. You know, they don't need it, okay? Like 99% of all, all artists would love to get there. And that's the sort of, that's the goal, that's the dream. Like, hey, we'll get there one day. You know, it's always something to strive for, and that's cool. You always strive for, for that great success like that. But don't dismiss and don't miss the success you're having on the way. Seriously, there's many levels of success. There's many levels of fame. It's how you define it. And going back to out of everybody, I, I, there's only two people in this that I've ever come across that I would say cannot sing at all. That means everybody else, if they really did things correctly, they could have some sort of a career. Okay, they might not get to the legendary status of Elvis, of Michael Jackson and Madonna and all them, right? But I guarantee you that they could get enough fans to support what they're doing, even if it's just a part-time hobby. But there's an element of fame in it. Yeah, and so if somebody says, you suck and you are not good enough, doesn't mean your career's over. So what if somebody doesn't like you? Most people aren't going to like you. You know, I mean, my music is pretty niche sort of thing. I can guarantee you out of over 50% of the music genres out there, the fans of those genres will not like what I do. You know, the majority of people will not like what you do, but the people that do like what you do, there's a lot of them. And you'd be surprised how many are in each niche genre that's out there. So don't give up. You know, if somebody says you suck or you're not good or they tried to scam you and you, now you're broke or you know, your house burnt down and you've lost all your, your instruments. If you want to keep going, you keep going. It's not the end of your career. You know, if you've got a voice or you got hands or you got feet, you can make music. It's however you want to do it. Oh, yeah. It's it's all how you interpret it. There's something for everybody, and there's somebody out there that will dig what you do. So it's up to you. But yeah, don't I I don't want to see anybody else that has seen this video go. Oh, I suck. My career's over. I'm never going to make it. Define make it. You know, seriously. It's just a matter of how you look at things. So, yeah. Get out there. Rock it up. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so, um, the camera cut out. I don't know when. So I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to go back a little bit. So when you get out there, rock it up and have some fun. Okay, so I don't know what I've missed out on, so I don't know where to go back to. I'm just going to keep going. But I know I've yammered on. Okay, I've yammered on a bit, but I'm going to give you some advice. Right, the best advice that was a light bulb moment for me. It seriously was a light bulb moment for me. Now, um, okay, so I don't know, it's the best advice I've given so far, and I don't know if any of you are still listening to me ramble on. If you are, comment below and say, yeah, we're still here listening, and I'll give a thumbs up. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is the best advice that I, I've ever gotten, and I was a guitarist in a band who had to become a singer 
we couldn't find a singer. So I was the singer playing guitar in the band. I sucked. Seriously, I found the demos, the old demos. And oh my god, it's horrendous. I may release it one day. One day I might release how bad we were. But I was only uh, I was only singing until we found the singer. So, you know, I was a guitarist. I had no interest in singing. I'll do backups, but yeah, I'm not a guitarist, man. And we didn't have a singer, so I was really badly singing. But then I found this thing called karaoke. Now this is why I I hate people that diss karaoke because karaoke actually played a big part in my career. It it helped me build my vocals and get them to where they are today. So, um, but yeah, I was at this karaoke event. I was doing a karaoke competition and I'd gotten off stage and the guy said, oh yeah, that was all right. I said, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just a guitarist, man. And he pulled me up and he said, when you're on that stage, you're a singer, you're not a guitarist. I don't see a guitar on you. So every time you go out on that stage, you take the mentality, I'm a singer. And the same goes with any instrument. Whatever you're doing, that's what you are. And that was a light bulb moment for me that just totally changed everything, changed my mentality, and I went out there and rocked it. But anyway, guys, I've yammered on enough. Until next time, I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Music. See ya!